Hey everybody, what's up? I'm Mason the Mason. In this video, I'm going to show you all how to point in a stone veneer wall. So, things you're going to need are some buckets, a water source, you know, veneer stone mortar, uh, some bonding agent. You're going to need a grout bag, uh, a brush, a trowel, a couple different sizes of slickers. I have two, which, you know, there's like four different sizes there. You can see bigger, smaller, bigger, smaller. And a firm, very firm paintbrush. Um, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna mix up our mud. So I got some water in here, like an eighth of a bucket. Then I take the bonding agent. Pretty generous with that. Ooh, sealed for your protection. Make the water turn white. Good. Take my mortar. And then mix her up. You want this real soupy. So uh, once I get like to the consistency where I want it, I'll show y'all. You want her real loose, and the way that I like, I'm like, okay, it's good to go. I pull it up, and if there ain't too much sticking on there, then it's good to go. Personally, I think I'm gonna add a little more water. Now, the reason you want it that wet is because uh, you don't want it to dry too fast. It'll cause cracks in the mortar because it's the stone will be sucking the moisture out of it too fast, so it causes a crack. Another reason is that you want it, uh, you want it wet enough to go through the grout bag easy. Another thing you want to do to make sure that the moisture is not getting sucked out too fast is you want to wet down your area, like the wall, where you're putting it down. Also, there might be some crumbs in there. So I'm getting rid of them. All right, so now I gotta fill up my grout bag. I got a bucket of water here. I'm gonna keep this bag nice and wet. That way the mud slides through real easy. I hold her like this. Yeah, that way you can just shove the mud down in here. Again, mud's real wet. I fill it up about halfway to three quarters. Because the more you fill it up, the harder it is to use. Um, Alright. So I'm filling in right here. So just like a quick thing. You got your grout bag. I start at the top. And I twist it. And I twist it. And I twist it. Until it's nice and snug. Now. Put it in the joints here. All you do, you gotta twist it with this hand too. Right? And then continue to, you twist with both hands. Like that. This kind of motion. Right? Twist and squeeze at the same time. And it controls the. You just keep adjusting the twist and squeezing. And you fill it right in. You fill up your joints. Making a bit of a mess there, sir. You just keep doing that, making sure you're filling in. Now the biggest thing when you're doing this stuff, you want to make sure that these joints are full, like completely packed in there. So I always shove my nose all the way in and let the mud squish out. That way they are full. And then you just do that all through your joints. I usually do half a bucket at a time. That way I don't get too far ahead and then the mud starts setting up. Also, in between your uh, filling your bags up, this is why I have a bucket of water. It's important to keep the bag wet and clean or the mud will get stuck and you won't be able to push it through. So all I do is just uh, you know, wash it out a little bit in between filling it. 
you don't gotta go crazy because you're just gonna get it dirty again. Just make sure that stuff runs through and you're good to fill it up again. Okay, once the stuff you uh, grouted in starts you know, setting up a little bit, you take your different size slickers here and uh, start pointing it in. So, it doesn't have to be the prettiest, all right? You just have to make sure that there's like little gaps from uh, the pointer bag. You should make sure those are all pushed in, smoothed out, no spaces behind them. You wanna make sure that everything is all packed in tight. See, that's why I got the different sizes, so I can just flip it around and I can fit in the tighter spaces, you know, whatever. It's this one for the tighter ones. So I'm gonna do this everywhere. And it's all right, it is a little messy. I might have to let it sit a little longer, you know, get a little more uh, hard so I don't make a mess of my stone like I'm doing down here, which I can just clean that off when I'm done. But you wanna let it set up a little more. Anyway, once it sets up all the way, I'll go through and I'll point all of it in, make it look like that. Good? I'll come back to you when I have it all slicked in. All right, once you get her all slicked in, you just take your uh, paintbrush here, you paint the joints, get all them crumbs out the way. There's a couple ways to do this. This is just how I do it. Oof. Corners and you just do that all over all the joints and get a nice brushed look finish. Just take a block brush and wipe off all the uh, crumbs and if there's any uh, little bleed marks or anything like that from when you're bagging in, just get rid of them and then brush them away. Then when you're all done, it should look like that. What do y'all think of that? I love it. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments. I'll be happy to answer them, and thanks for watching.